Okay, I just finished taping all the trim. It took so long. All this trim work and taping is done, but it is so time consuming. But I think it'll be worth it to have the really sharp two-tone look yeah. for this thing. But we're taking a break from that and it's time to plant the garden. Woo! Our 10-day forecast shows no signs of freezing. Pretty much every night is gonna start to have a low over 40 degrees. So that's good enough for us to get the tomatoes and stuff in the ground. And we have everything fenced so it won't be a deer catastrophe <laughs> like last year's garden. So this will be fun. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. <laughs> and Tina and I were just reflecting on this time last year, there were just holes in the ground where those concrete footers are for the year. Yeah. That's all that was here. Um, so, as overwhelmed as we get sometimes with how much there is to do, mm -hmm. the, that is a lot more than was here <laughs> last year. So Come a long way. Feeling good about that. Yeah. All right, let's go to the garden. Okay. In the garden, we put in, we took two hog panels and bent them over to create trellises. We've seen, seems to be a thing a lot of people are doing as a really simple trellis. So. A couple of our tomatoes and then I think Tina said we're going to do cucumbers and something else as well in the trellis. So it'll be nice because it, it spans our rows and then we'll plant just right at the end of a row and then trim it up to be on here. So that'll be fun. Another thing to note in the garden, we planted two trees here in the garden last year and this pear tree is just starting to leaf out again and so that's great and what's not so great is that the fig we put in this corner is dead as a doorknob so some figs figs aren't frost tolerant but some figs will survive it but not this one this is just dead 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 so that's okay because the good news is a fig over there by the excavator that we planted survived. So there's going to be tons of things like that here on the farm with plants and animals where the ones that survive are the ones that get to stay and you make breeding stock out of them. So that's just how it goes. Okay, take two for planting the garden. Yesterday was overly ambitious for getting much done. We still had the evening animal chores to do, dinner, all that stuff. So we planted a few tomatoes, but then realized we needed to regroup and start again. Yesterday, baby had a blowout too, which- <laughs> Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Didn't help us. Hey, Olaf. Olaf, you got something in your, you got something on your head. You got something on your head. <laughs>
It's time for afternoon animal chores and we're feeding them those garden scraps we got. The what was it? Collard and broccoli that had bolted. And Oops. a bit of lettuce. And we feed the dogs at the same time. We've given up on that dog feeder because pigs and goats were stealing dog food. So we're just feeding them twice a day. Hold on, James. Wait James, thing? please wait. They are lined up and interested. <laughs> Garth is doing a lot better. And we'll just show you the whole we'll show you the whole routine. So the main thing that's changed in here to note is that we cut we cut the paddock in half. So there's a paddock with dogs and goats and there's a paddock with pigs because bringing the pigs their food it was getting annoying how much the goats wanted to come steal it. So I figured a simple solution of splitting them up would be best. And then I think it'll also work really well to lead lead with the goats they kind of eat stuff more that's like a foot up and higher is their preference where the pigs get down in a little shovel noses so I think it'll work well to make a first pass on stuff with the goats and then follow up the pigs and the pigs don't really need the predator protection that the dogs offer near as much as the goats do pigs only big strong predators can catch and get a pig pigs are tough okay so, here's what we do. We feed the pigs and we feed the dogs. Here, pig. Yeah, come right here, bud, and dump it out right here. Let's see how much they like vegetables. Yeah. Go ahead. Alright, now back away. They're like, what is that? That's not the grain that I'm expecting. So now they're looking at me and I'll go get them their grain. <laughs> Oh, no, that goes. That one goes. Who's that? It's not what they expected. That's Buttercup. Buttercup's going for it. And away. All right. Oh. Here, pig. This is what ah. they want. This is the good stuff. They're grunting and... Squealing ceases immediately. So little Garth is doing so much better. He doesn't stand out as the sickly one. He just looks like he's smaller. Um, but he's doing a lot, a lot better. He's The one thing we noticed that's new is from, from the skin damage, he's developed these kind of little cystic looking things that are from bacteria getting in his skin. And I know it's really gross, but one of them like popped like a zit yesterday. Okay, let's feed the dogs. So maybe it's because we're all here, but the, usually the goats don't all come like this. So we got tons of eggs, so we mix a raw egg with each one for the girls. And Poppy, or no, Daisy the goat is the most annoying for trying to come get this food. But Lila the dog is good about running her off. James, can you stop hanging on the fence and back up? Okay, back up goat. Back up goat. Here you go, girl. One second, please. Alright, so I'll give them some space. No ball, come here. No ball. Dave, do your work. You want to come in here? Oh, there's a goat right there. Oh, and I need to fill up the water. The and we got baby with us. She's been going in the backpack. I don't know where her face is right now. I can't see. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hello, baby. Hi. What you doing? Yeah. Good boy that eats his vegetables.
I'm ready to be. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, hey! I'm spraying all off. We're almost done with this painting project. We're just peeling off paint now, Ooh. or paint peeling off the tape, tape. now. The tape didn't do a perfect job. The um, the red paint bled through at the edges, but it still looks good. I'm still really happy with it. But mm -hmm. um, painting is so time consuming. <laughs> it's taken a ton of time. And mm -hmm. Tina and I got our second dose of COVID vaccine yesterday, and we're feeling pretty wimpy today. <laughs> so feeling low. Low no productivity energy. today, but um, we're wrapping up the painting project and then I have the materials to put the metal roof on. And then this utility room exterior will be done and fancy. That'll be good to have the nice roof to finish it off. Yeah, so it's been a good project. It's been time consuming. It's been a while since we put out a video because I want to like kind of get something done before we make a video <laughs> taking this on it was a lot of hours of work just painting is really labor intensive tedious so that's okay yeah. it'll be worth it mm -hmm. all right all right so what else is going on the garden's growing and the animals are doing good up in the woods we can show you a little more about them but garth the pig is really a lot healthier mm -hmm. the only thing going on now is some of the spots where his skin was damaged he kind of grew these pimple like things where kind of bacteria had got in and made a growth but those are getting better already too so healthy happy pigs healthy happy goats we might be less than a month out from baby goats from some of them so mm -hmm. we'll see about that that'll be exciting yeah yeah well that's it <laughs> until next time see ya bye <laughs> Are you biting me? That hurts.